between Sugar Sean O'Malley and Mitch Gagnon. Well, nice to see this young fighter healthy and making the walk here tonight. His takedowns are just incredible. High amplitude takedowns, great technique, explosion really with every shot, and seemingly no telegraph as well. So even a fighter with good takedown defense, more often than not, is not going to see this guy's shot coming. This guy has world-class choking techniques in all varieties, be it guillotine, choke, rear naked, Dars, anaconda. If this guy gets a hold of your neck, you've got problems. The Helena, Montana born Sugar Sean O'Malley back for more here tonight. This guy is still on the right side of 25, so very much a developing fighter, but hard not to like what we have seen thus far inside the octagon. Very good on the feet, understands distance very well, switches stances every step of the way. This is gonna be a fighter to keep an eye on, I would think, going forward here at 135 pounds. This fighter has outstanding footwork. He is amongst the best in the world at changing angles and always being in a position where he can land against his opponent, but but he's out of range of his opponent's counterattacks. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 12 wins, four losses. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sudbury, Ontario, Canada, Mitch! martial artist holding professional record now. Ten wins, no losses. He stands five feet eleven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Sugar Sean O'Malley. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Ian Hubbard. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? Here we go. from the bottom. And he connects with the punch there. O'Malley gets up. He is back on the feet here. Misses a huge hook to the head. O'Malley gets the single leg takedown. He postures into place. In half guard. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Big shot. Oh, he got cracked. And busy as he looks to improve position here. And he's up. Switching stances here. And there's a single attempt. Back to Orthodox. Nice inside leg kick landed there by Mitch Gagnon. Flipped him with the jab. 
While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, man's flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Oh! He's got one here. Side control. Now he's in half guard. Big right hand. Oh, straight right. Those punches are very hard. And he's teeing off. Well, the strike lands, but just not doing a whole lot of damage because his stamina is low. And he connects there, Joe. That one hurt. Oh, he did! Oh! Try to establish that jab. Another takedown attempt here. Oh, a nice shot there. Nothing telegraphed about it. So he lands another takedown. They're starting to really pile up here, and his opponent can't see the entry. So. Oh, he got tagged again. He's hurt. Oh, he missed that kick. Oh. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Perfectly relax. Took a little bit of a beating that round. But that's all right. That's what we trained for. That was his best shots. You took them no problem. Brittany Palmer holding it down for us here. was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone will get sleep in this he He's rocked. Oh! Man has his chin been tested early. That's it. He's out. That he is done. out. Wow. What a knockout. Man. Beautiful ground and pound KO. Yeah, Joe, the finish comes courtesy of some outstanding ground and pound. And it's one thing to try to score when you have your opponent in a compromised position on the ground. It's another thing to try to end the fight. And that's exactly what he was trying to do here tonight. Elbows and punches and hammer fists, one weapon after the next. And ultimately, the knockout materializes. Nicely done there. And here we see it from another angle. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has going to stop for this contest at 25 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Sugar Shaw! So the Sugar Show is in full effect here tonight as we congratulate Sean O'Malley and his MMA Lab teammates. And you start to wonder what type of fighter is going to be able to hand this guy his first loss inside the octagon. He has been on an absolute tear, and it's a tear that continued here tonight.